Fragrance fam, we are back. That's right, back in the lab, man. And today, I'm doing a video. Now, this one is going to be strictly for the ladies. Fellas, still stay tuned into the video because if your wife is a fan of YXL Libre, <laughs> my wife emptied this bottle out. If your wife is a fan of YXL Libre or your girlfriend or your moms or whatever, you might want to check out Lebra from Mesa Alhambra. All right? Stay tuned. Guys, welcome back into the channel, man. Now, today's video, like I said, is definitely going to be on a fragrance that's for the women. It ain't nothing unisex about this fragrance. All right, guys. <laughs> Normally, I say give it a try, but no, this is strictly for the females. But nevertheless, man, new subscribers, peace to y'all. My return subscribers, peace to y'all as well. Shouts out to everybody that been checking out the channel. Y'all know we hustling for that 10K to get that 10K subscriber mark by the end of this year. But nevertheless, guys, YXL Libre. Now, this one is a heavy popular fragrance for the females for sure my wife loves that fragrance but i ain't gonna lie y'all i'm tired of spending close to a hundred dollars for the 1.7 ounce so i said you know what there gotta be an alternative on the market y'all know i've been heavy into the clones lately oh, i did my digging man and i stumbled upon this one mason alhambra libra l-i-b B R A instead of Libre, which is spelled L I B R E, I believe. So this one by here, Mason Alhambra, guys. Now you can get this bottle, fellas, on Amazon for twenty dollars for your lady. Okay, so presentation on these bottles is definitely totally different. You know what I'm saying? This has YXL on the logo all over. This just has the. Mason Alhambra horse says Libra across the bottom. And as y'all can see, my wife has already made a dent in this one. And she said it is uh, definitely a decent alternative. I believe since this release, this one came out in 2019. I do believe since this release, this is a, there is a odor perfume concentration to this juice. But nevertheless, we're talking about the EDT concentration. And then the top of this fragrance, we have lavender, mandarin, orange, black currant and Pettigrain and in the mid lavender orange blossom jasmine and the base Madagascar vanilla musk cedar and ambergris and this one is classified as an amber fusier so I'm gonna go ahead and spray it because I'm not gonna lie I do like smelling this on my wife um she has definitely tested this one out through the waters and she said it is a nice clone so we're gonna go ahead and spray the clone first Spray the clone, and I already know what the OG smell like, so. Mm hmm Lavender. And this one. So, to me, the distinctive thing between the clone and the OG is that right off the bat, the OG starts out a little bit more potent than the clone. When you first spray this, you're definitely going to smell lavender and florals in this one. It's a nice floral fragrance, lavender. For me, just reviewing this one as a man, I don't really smell black currant. I'm very familiar with that one. It's no kind of vibes getting off with that. Lavender, musk, vanilla, Slight ambergris, mandarin orange is in this one too. So it's definitely close to the OG, man. So I will say, um, fellas, if you want to save your money, if you're into buying your wife some perfumes or whatever, and if she is a fan of this, you might want to have her check out the Mason Alhambra clone, man. It's very close. Um, and if any females is checking this video out and you are a fan of YXL Libre, check out the Mason Alhambra Libra if you want to save yourself some coin. Right now, even still, 1.6 ounce on the YXL one, guys, is still going for 130. And that's 1.6 ounce. So, like I was saying, the Mason Alhambra one costs $20 off Amazon. It's definitely close to it. In my opinion, the 
real one just starts out a little bit more stronger, a little bit more potent, but this one falls in line with it. And me as a man, I can honestly say with this fragrance right here, if I was a female, I will wear this all year round. Definitely for special occasions though. I think this is definitely one for if a female is going to get dressed up, she's going out for the night type of vibes. I would dress this up first. Then I would come casual with it for sure. To me, this is definitely a nighttime scent if I was a female. But once again, to me, this screams versatility. My wife doesn't work in the office. She works outside with all kinds of smells and everything and she rocks this. So it don't even matter. But just from her viewpoint, her perspective, she said it's a decent clone to the YXL. And she actually said the performance is not bad either, guys. She said she gets around six hours and it projects well within the first hour, leaning up to like close to an hour and a half. Then it definitely starts to dial back. But for the price point and the scent matching, she loves it. And as y'all can see, she has made a nice dent in it. And she done killed this bottle wide. So Libre and she falling back on her second bottle, which I brought this one. I said, not again. I got to find an alternative. So thanks for watching this video, guys. Just wanted to get some content out there for the ladies and for the fellas, man. If your wife is a fan of that fragrance, listen, get this one for her. Ask her to try it out. This one is only 20 compared to paying 130 for 1.6 ounce. On this channel, you know, we love to save that bread up. My wife says fairly close to the original and she digs it. So, yeah, I have no problem with it. So, all right, fellas, ladies, if y'all was checking out this video, if y'all need more content, click on that video header up on the screen. If you want to like and subscribe to the channel, you go and do that as well. That was Mason Alhambra Libre, a nice floral lavender kind of fragrance for the shorties. All right, peace. Salute.